Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Vice Chancellor and President, Mark Scott A.O. and the academic procession are about to enter the Great Hall. Would all who are able please rise for the academic procession? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Please be seated. I'd now like to introduce you to the people who are here on the dais. Seated at the centre of the dais is Professor Mark Scott, AO, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University, who will preside over the ceremony. The Vice-Chancellor is joined today by Professor Tim Wilkinson, Associate Dean, Student Life, Faculty of Engineering, who will be presenting the graduates. We also have Dr. Mahendra Samarwikrama, the Manager of Data Science and Analytics, Australian Red Cross, and ACS ICT Professional of the Year 2022, who is our guest speaker. The other people seated on stage are professors, academic and professional staff from the faculties and schools who have played such an important part in the success of today's graduates. On behalf of all my academic colleagues up here on stage today and all the staff of the university, be it your tutors, the support and laboratory staff and all your other teachers who are not here today, congratulations and well done. You are, you are all most fortunate to be, in society, to be in a society that gives you the opportunity to attend a university like this one. Take advantage of all the opportunities that exist for you as a graduate of the University of Sydney because you have earned it through your study here and your University of Sydney degree is a passport to the future that you can carry with pride. And we look forward to seeing you here with us again soon. Congratulations once more to our brilliant new graduates and may you find success and fulfilment in every part of your lives. One of the things we try to do at graduation ceremonies is have a speaker come and address the graduates in our community here who might serve as a point of inspiration, a point of a role model about things that can happen in a career once graduating and moving on. And our speaker today, Dr Mahendra Samarwikrama, is a great example of that. Dr. Samara Wikrama is a senior leader in the artificial intelligence and data science sector. He's an author, he's an investor, he's a mentor, an advisor, and a speaker, and he's dedicated to investigation of technology innovation and transformation with a particular focus on social justice and sustainability. He was the Australian Computer Society's ICT's Professional of the Year in 2022. He received his PhD from the University of Sydney in 2018 and achieved a double Masters in Business Administration and Project Management from the University of Southern Queensland in the same year. So as I understand that, he was studying a PhD with us whilst completing two Masters degrees at another university at the same time. He also received a Masters and an Honours Bachelor degree in 2011 and 2009, respectively for Electronic and Telecommunications Engineering from the University of Moratuwa in Sri Lanka. He's an industry collaborator who actively leads technology innovation and transformation initiatives and partnerships towards humanity, social justice and sustainability. And in these perspectives, he's an advisory council member in the Harvard Business Review, an expert in AI ethics and governance at the Global AI Ethics Institute, an industry member in the UNSW Business School, a senior member of the IEEE and an honorary visiting scholar at the University of Technology, Sydney, and a graduate member of the Australian Institute of Company Directors. He currently leads the AI and data science strategy at the Australian Red Cross, building capabilities for social justice and sustainability with a focus on diversity, equity and inclusion. To deliver our occasional address this afternoon, will you welcome Dr Mahandra Samara Wikrama. Thank you, Vice Chancellor and the President, Professor Mark Scott, for that uh, extremely generous introduction. I start today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land we are meeting, 
and I want to pay my respect to uh, Abur, uh, First Nations people and uh, their elders, past and present and emerging, and I will extend that respect towards all the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in this uh, graduation ceremony. This is an immense honor for me and self-actualized moment in my life, having this opportunity to address you in your graduation ceremony in the Great Hall of the University of Sydney, one of the finest and best universities in the world and the first university of Australia. And I also want to congratulate all of you to uh, complete your graduation in this challenging time of COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and I am sure you are already strong, agile, adaptive by experience. Today I am going to reflect some of my thoughts on my life after my graduation. It was a very uh, uh, vibrant experience for me. Uh, I completed a PhD, three masters, and graduate certification, and many more certifications to uh, skilled in this uh, uh, transformational digital industry. And I started uh, as a telecommunication engineer, then moved into electronics, and then came to research, and then going back to computer networking and data science and analytics, and now I'm talking of AI ethics and governance for sustainability. Current business landscape is changing faster than ever, and these are some of my thoughts for you. Firstly, the change can or cannot be predictable, but you can always win by being a visionary and orchestrator. For that, you need to have some skills and you need to be aware on the technology environment and act fast and act on social justice while enhancing the skills and awareness on other people. So when I won ICT Professional of the Year Award this year, I, uh, my contribution was development of AI ethics and governance frame, framework for sustainability. It, when I developed that framework, it, it was one of, uh, its, uh, one of the first of its kind, and I act on uh, supporting the corporate governance, which is the highest level that we can uh, show the leadership in uh, this AI domain. At the same time, I had I got opportunity to work with many people to enhance the awareness and uh, making the social uh, justice. Now, I did a lot of hard work in my, in my life, but at the end, this creativity and social impact, the motivations to do social impact made the difference and uh, difference. Secondly, we should see ourselves as leaders, not like uh, computer scientists. Uh, and anyone can be a leader with the right mindset, and the mindset matters most. It's the mindset that differentiates uh, entrepreneurs, directors, CEO, manager, and staff. And, uh, and to absorb these leadership skills, I completed a MBA and a graduate certification in, for directors. And there are many ways that you can uh, get these skills. And I want to tell, like technology, the contemporary leadership styles are also fast changing. The strategies, the risks, risk appetites are all changed because of this emerging technologies, COVID-19 pandemic, and, uh, and fast move of different uh, moving into different technologies. And it is very important you show the leadership skills and it will help you to amplify your innovative other works uh, and it will help you to transform both organization and the society. And in this perspective, you should have some skills related to governance, management, risks and strategy and I think you will uh, get opportunity to learn these things when you are working in the industry. Thirdly, you need to be 
creative and curious on your leisure time. Uh, recently, I wrote three songs. Uh, they are in my mother language, and I produced them. I wrote an art book, and I did an uh, audio book. And likewise, there are many extracurricular activities we can do for make our psychological, uh, to establish our psychological well-being. Uh, these are very dynamic time period, and it is very difficult for us to anchoring on the technology, this changing, fast changing technology, and achieving the uh, psychological stability and well-being at the same time. And you need to diversify your lifestyle, and you need to uh, you need to make sure you take care of yourself while you are working in this uh, very uh, fast-changing uh, technology landscape. And in this perspective, uh, ethics, culture, harmony, all these things play a major role. Fourthly, uh, I want to tell uh, that as a very bold statement that your family, friends and loved, one, loved ones matters most. Uh, irrespective of how hard you are, we are working towards technology, we should uh, make sure that we spend quality time with our family, friends, and loved ones. Uh, our, this quality time we have to spend uh, with our family, friends, and loved ones run out faster than our lifetime. And uh, I want to uh, tell that uh, at the end, when we reflect, you will see the technology still changing faster than ever. And at that point, uh, that is the time you spend uh, with your family and friends and loved ones matters most. Uh, finally, uh, the recent COVID-19 pandemic, uh, man-made disasters and emerging tech uh, taught us uh, many life lessons. Uh, human dignity over AI, uh, diversity, equity, inclusion, environmental social governance, uh, work-life balance, psych psychological well-being, all, uh, all discussed before, but now they are really put into practice. Uh, people realize uh, human uh, values over desires. People uh, understood the uncertainties of life. People became compassionate and empathetic towards others. Uh, and all these values are blended into United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, uh, Red Cross, uh, Red Cross uh, humanitarian programs, and many other uh, charity and not-for-profit not uh, programs. Uh, I encourage you to support these humanitarian and uh, uh, humanitarian and sustainability projects through technology for make the world a better place. I wish you all the best and success in your life. Thank you. Just, uh, just a bit firstly, I just want to mention uh, the great care that the university takes in choosing those who are invited to give the occasional address at graduations. And I'm sure you'll all agree that today the university has made a wonderful choice. And on behalf of the university, I'd like to thank Dr. Mahendra Samarawakarama for what was truly an inspirational occasional address. Thank you. Would you all please rise for the academic procession? <laughs>